Dearly beloved, many of us fall to temptation many a times, but is there a way out of temptation? You know, in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus Christ told his disciples to pray. And in that prayer, it says, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Well, the Word of God says in Hebrew, the second chapter, the 18th verse, For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to secure or aid them that are tempted. And aid for temptation. Our God and our Heavenly Father, by His divine Holy Spirit, and the angelic host that is all around us. Dearly beloved, God uses everything possible in order to strengthen us in our time of temptation. Even as the Word of God said that Jesus Christ stood against the tempter who tempted him in the desert place. Jesus Christ went through those temptations and he gained victory. And because he gained that victory, today you and I who are believers have our victory in Christ. The victory has already been won. That's the understanding that you and I have to get as believers. We are not called to become victorious. We are victorious already because of Christ. When we begin to realize that all the works have been done at the cross, then we are able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Because in our time of temptation, our God is able to aid us at that very moment that temptation is at its highest level because of what Jesus Christ did by overcoming the tempter in the desert. And the Word of God says that he was tempted even more so after then. So there is no temptation that has ever taken over anybody or any person who have ever been tempted have not been tempted by something that our Lord God, our Jesus Christ was tempted by. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's sexual. It doesn't matter if it's some other kind of sin, if it's overeating. It doesn't matter if it's anger, if it's envy, or if it's lasciviousness. It doesn't make any difference. One thing you have to recognize and I have to recognize is this, that our God, Jesus Christ, our brother, who is now our brother, overcame every temptation that Satan threw at him. And today, we have the power in us because the same Holy Spirit that has been measured out to us and was given to Christ is now given to us that we will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil no matter how difficult it may be. But we have to believe what the Word says because all dearly beloved is done by faith. It's done by my belief that Jesus Christ has done it for me. When Satan comes against me, I know then that Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit of God on the inside of me is giving me strength, have made me aware, has already delivered me from what the tempter is trying to do to me. Glory be to God. What a beautiful place to be. What a beautiful time to live in. Glory be to God. You know, there are things in the earth today that when Paul, when Peter, when John, and even when Jesus Christ himself lived in this earth, was not available to the man and woman and child that it is today. It is so prevalent around us. Even when I look back at my childhood, there are certain things that because of the protection that my family gave us growing up, that we never set our eyes upon certain things. There were many things we did not try because of the protection of our family, but that is being lost today, dearly beloved. And it seems like the tempter has now visited 
our homes, or in our homes with television, with computer technology, with phone technology, daily beloved. All kind of temptation is there now than ever before. So daily beloved, we need to pray for one another. We need to pray for our young people like never before because of the temptations that they are going through. And sometimes we as elders look back at our past and say, well, I didn't do that what my child did. I didn't do this. And I didn't. Because it wasn't available to you. We need not get uh, high-minded or heavy-handed upon the young people, knowing that the tempter, knowing that his days are short, he is tempting even more so our children. Let's pray for them. God bless you today.